Load. Arc System Works. Toy Box Inc. Tabot Inc. This America. There's a lot of people working on this game. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know. The stuff that everyone knows is just a small piece of this mysterious world. My grandpa loved to read and owned lots of books, too many to count. When I was a kid, I used to borrow his books in secret and read them. Such a bad boy or girl, whatever you are. Hello, this is JD from JD Gaming PR and welcome to Birthdays The Beginning. This is the demo version. I think that it was a time exclusive PlayStation Plus demo. Don't bother looking for it because uh, I told my girlfriend about this game and she wanted to play this game, the demo, and sadly she could not. Even though that she has PlayStation Plus, she couldn't find it. I couldn't find it either. Um, but I did download it and here I am to play it. It's been so long since I had this demo and I wanted to play it and now I had the chance, sort of, one day. A day like any other day, I was reading a book when an old scrap of paper fell out. It looked kind of, uh, sorry, it looked like a small map. Specifically, a map of this area, and in the forest, a spot had been marked. Maybe it's a treasure map. A childish notion, I know. I had no way of knowing if the map was real or not, but it didn't seem too far away. So away I went. Of course, because that's normal. If I find a piece of map, I'm gonna go there. No, really, I, I would, I would. Pockets of sunlight seeped through the dense canopy of trees, dimly shining my way as I walked through the dark forest. That was deep. And right when I thought, I think this is the spot. A beam of, a beam of light appeared before me. At that moment, I wanted to run, but my feet wouldn't budge. What is an abandoned car doing next to the beam of light on a really dark forest? How did the car get there? Well, it is old, so. So there I stood, and then, as if beckoning me? Sorry about that, the light began to move. That is a flashlight. If it moved, it must be a flashlight. And my feet responded in kind. I felt like a puppet. There was nothing I could do. What? Oh, because it's normal to go inside of a cave. Then you don't know. I eventually arrived at the entrance to a cave. The light continued into the cave and my feet continued after it. Shortly after, I lost consciousness. Maybe you were possessed in the dark forest. In a map that you don't know. With a map you don't know. <laughs> that grandpa of yours. <sighs> when I woke up, there was a giant cube before me. Next to it, a smaller cube-like object in a creature I had never seen before. That cube is called the Old Spark, and the little cube that is an object, a creature they never seen before, that is Knack. Just to let you know. Or maybe a character of Minecraft, I don't know. And with that, the strangest incident of my life had begun. What in the world are you? I don't know how the kid didn't freak out with that, but I would. I would have. Welcome to this unknown world. I don't have a name myself. I don't have a name myself, but if you want, you can call me Navi. <laughs> All right, Navi. That red guy is your avatar. Red guy. Oh, okay. That red guy is your avatar. Oh. Oh, so I was freaking out about my avatar. And now, oh, so the, oh, the cube is the one who's talking to me. I really wanted a red guy to talk to me, but you know, it's not a cube, it's a diamond, no. Whatever shape are you, I've never been good at math. I know it's geometry, but you know, algebra is the same. That red guy is your avatar, you can give it a name, any name you want. For a long time, alright, his name is Avatar. For a long time, my job has been to birth life on worlds such as this one. Oh, so you're God, but you, you call yourself Navi, okay. But lately things haven't gone right. I know everything about this world, but I can't do anything on my own. So I call upon you. I'm sure you don't, un 
you don't understand, but trust me, you're a chosen one. Because I opened a book of, a gran of my grandfather that uh, I took it without permission. I found a map with a marked spot that maybe my grandpa put it there. And I went to the dark woods in which I found an abandoned car. And I followed a moving flashlight into a cave. And I found that my avatar is an alien in which I thought it was the one who was talking to me. But no, it is a, a prism. A diamond. Pri I'm going to call it prism. All right. So I call upon you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chosen one. You seem confused. I am very. I just need help. That's all. I'm sure you won't let me down. You're floating. I cannot let you down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if life can be birthed on this world, I can finally complete my task. And then you can return to your world. Ah, crazy, I believe. Together we can move forward. It's our only option. Hmm, only option. I can always run away and forget about all that. And call the CIA about you. First things first. You need to know the rules of this world. Now, let's begin. What world? Oh. Oh, so it is a big world. Do you see that red square? That's the cursor. Okay. It can highlight various things. When raising and lowering terrain, the cursor will be the center point. You can also specif specify an area to use items. Wow, this is a lot of work. Let's try moving first. Use the left stick to move the cursor wherever you like. You can move in any direction this way. Okay, but I cannot move. Okay. If you hold L2 at the same time, you move even faster. All right, but let me do it. You can also use the right stick to change your point of view. I know I've played games before. Never created a world before. Maybe. I don't remember. Maybe I was drunk. Do you see that small map at the top right? That's the mini map. Ah. There's a location highlighted in red on the minimap. Why don't you head over there? Because you don't let me move. Ah, oh, okay. Look at that. Game over, right? No. I forgot to say that this is the first minutes of the game. <laughs> All right. All right, everything seems okay. While we're at it, I'll explain the minimap. Oh my God, the minimap displays a bird's view of this entire cube. I know. The red dot represents your location. Oh, crap. I thought it was something else. I thought it was a comet flying backwards. The distribution of distribution of life and con the condition of the land is also displayed. Yeah, I know. Terrain and water. It might look drab now, but I'll get more life. It'll get more lively if you do well. All right, if you let me do it. The direction that the red dot is pointing represents the direction you're facing. I know. I've used a GPS before. Next, we should move the terrain. You're probably wondering why. <laughs> well, this is a key part of birthing life in this world. Okay. R1. Press R1 in the area selected by the cursor will rise. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not doing that just to let you know. When you press R2, the area selected, the cursor will lower. Okay. I'm not doing anything. You can also do something like this. Okay, now that's impressive. By raising and lowering the terrain, you can influence this world's environment. Basically, raising the land will decrease its temperature and lowering the land will increase it. This change the temperature will display on the minimap. Oh, okay. However, temperature fluctuations are affected by other variables besides terrain elevation. So far, this game has been... <laughs> has been wow. I don't even know how long I've been playing. Uh, by raising and lowering the terrain, you shape the environment. In doing so, new life will be born that is suited for various environments. When a life form tries and its population increases, you can birth new type of life. Okay, repeating this cycle will allow you to birth various life forms. All right. Now let's try raising and lowering the terrain. Thank you. R1 to raise R2 to lower. Hold down. Either button to sustain raising or lower. You know that you... <laughs> Also, you can use the left stick to move around while you're raising or lowering the terrain. Okay, so I made a volcano. How can I... Do you know what I'm doing? 
Yeah, me neither. Looks like you ran out of HP. Oh, thank you for letting me know that now. You can heal lost HP in macro mode, but you heal you just this one. But I heal you just this one. Okay, there's other ways to control the land. One way is by using items. You see that yellow dot in the minimat? Uh, that represents an item. All right, head over there to Untamed Valley, whatever source. You just need to go near it. I'll show you how to use it. I'm gonna edit the heck out of this game. Good job. This item will dig a hole in the ground. All right. Press X in the item. Ah, open. Okay. Square to use it. Use Valley Source and move the terrain. This may be a bother, but I'll, I'll like you to put two of those three in a specific location. <sighs> Mark in red in the minimap. You can put the last one whenever you want. I don't know why the... Oh, here. Okay. Uh... What did I do? Okay, I did it. Now what? Now what? You know what? I'm gonna lower this. I don't need a mountain. I did something. What do you think? Useful, huh? There are a lot of useful, useful items, but right now, I have something more important to tell you. Oh my god, so I have to tell you about the sea. It's the birthplace of all life. You can create water using the primordial drop. This is how it all starts. Using, Try using the primordial drop in the hole you made with the valley source. Primordial drop. I'm on the water. It's water. Congratulations. This is the first what I the first of what I hope will be many birthdays. In this well, this large pool of water that you created is called a sea. On the course of status, course of status to the right, you can see that the height is in the negatives. Where? Oh, okay. Everything in the sea negative uh in the negative is the sea. That's a rule of this world. Oh, okay. It's almost time uh, for life to be born. Ha, it's only things were that simple. But waiting around is pretty boring, so let's use an item to speed this up. Oh my god. Ta-da! The broth of life. This amazing item creates organisms without fail. But you had to use it in the sea. After all, that's the birthplace of all life. Hmm. Uh, broth of life. Now all you have to do is wait for the life to be born, but right now time is frozen. Ah, if time flow, if time flow normally while you try to work, things <laughs> could turn bad real quick. <laughs> Something tells me I want to try it. So here's another important rule: time only passes by when you watch the world unfold from a distance. Oh, so try pressing triangle. All right, what's going on? Now you can watch the world from a distance. You can adjust the distance with the right stick. Okay? This is called macro mode. Okay? And it's very important. It's how you unfreeze time. When time passes, the cube's environment will change with each passing moment. And when the cube's environment has fulfilled a condition, life will be born into this world. Let time pass and watch what happens. Press L1 to unfreeze time. Go ahead, try it. Cube years. Phytoplankton. Another happy birthday. Congratulations. Whose birthday is it? The plankton? It's phytoplankton. This is said to be the original life form. Life news is displayed on the right. You can see new display next to phytoplankton. This is how you'll find out when new life forms are born. And make sure you don't miss a single birthday. The cube status below will... Sh Show them for your uh, you information about this world. Temperature fluctuations, flora and fauna status, terrain proportion, stuff like that. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to show you the mechanics of birthing life. What? Temperature is the most important factor for life to be born. Generational and geographical change 
matters too. Wow, it is so hard to be a god. But the most important by far is temperature. Now, the ratio of the sea to land determines the temperature. The more land there is, the lower the temperature. And the more sea there is, the higher the temperature. Elevation is also a factor. Higher elevation makes lower temperatures and vice versa. If you remember that while you shape the terrain, various life forms will be born. I mentioned before how you can progress time, but I'll let you I'll tell you something a little more useful. Like I can start now. At the bottom of the screen, you can change the speed at which time processes. Okay. L1 to start and top uh, stop time. L2 fast forward and stop time. Okay. Start time Oh, starting time will hear your HP, while fast forwarding will consume it. Ooh. Now let's try fast forwarding time. Press L2. I don't see anything. Zooplankton. I still don't see anything. A new species has been born. That makes three birthdays now. Three. And I still haven't seen anything. Expect to see a lot more. As a reward, I'll hear your age, heal your HP. Now, what was born was zooplankton, the first multicellular organism. Ah, I'm a god. And uh, I'm supposed to see the multi organism, multicellular cellular organism, right? But no, it eats phytoplankton to survive. This is the first link in the food chain. Oh. Let me explain a little bit more about life forms. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Sometimes the environment can no longer support certain species when they begin to increase in number. When that happens, species will adapt to the environment and through evolution, a new species will be born. Sometimes one species will appear because another has gone extinct. Wow. Life sure is mysterious, isn't it? And long. After the third life form is born, you can continue on. You can zoom in and change the terrain and do all kinds of stuff. Then just go to macro mode and let time unfold again. If you ever, if you're ever not sure what to do, press R R3 to our a forehand. Use it whenever you need arises. Fast forward. I want to see animals. I don't see animals. Is there any animal? There's a lot of plankton. Two plankton and whatever plankton thing ha fast forward well I think I'm gonna cut the video here because I was hoping to see dinosaur stromatolite wow another species was born another birthday to celebrate what this is stromola uh, str str stromatolite. I, I can't even pronounce that. A rock-like organism made of algae that lives in high temperature shallows. Why why was stro stromatolite born, you ask? I didn't ask. Because the location met the condition for life. Therefore, it was born. That means you can expect them to thrive in these conditions too. Location factors are also sort of variables such as temperature, high terrain, and more. You might want to zoom in and look for hints. Hmm, you can now... Uh, now you know the three important factors of bringing life. Temperature, life form, prosperity, extension, location. Hmm, these three factors have a deep connection to the birth of this world. I don't want to be a god anymore. When life is born, another life might go extinct. Life forms that cannot adapt will die off. Life forms that are in danger of going extinct will display and okay, okay, this explanation are getting lengthy, but please bear with me. Huh. Entering the world. Can I see the animals? There's a dot there. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is green is micro mode. Micro, macro and micro may seem familiar, but don't mix them up. You know what? I'm gonna cut it here because this is getting way too long. Being a, being a god is hard, as you can see, so I'm going to stop it for now. So, this is birthdays, the beginning, the first minutes of the game. I hope that you guys liked it. It's very, uh, maybe too informative. I hope that it turned out to be good. So, look for me on Google+, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, and which channel you said. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, all under the same name, JD Gaming PR. Share, like, and comment if you like. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This was JD from JD Gaming PR. 
I still don't know whose birthday is it. It was the plankton, the zooplankton, the plankoplankton, the 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 stro stromatolite. I don't even know the names. And I, uh, and I hope that you guys have a good one. All right, bye bye. Now I'm gonna continue the demo until I finish it because I have to finish it. I'm a god. I started being a god. I had to end being a god. That doesn't make sense. All right, bye bye now. <laughs>